is up everybody welcome 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 to the first episode of the Honda Fit build series today's episode we're doing the steering wheel replacement here is all the parts that we're going to be selling on the car today <laughs> Honda Fit Build Series. Welcome to episode Tres Leches of the Build Series. Today we're going to be installing my Atoto. Uh, we're going to be installing the SA Atoto uh, head unit into uh, the Fit today. And we might do a little bit more than that. Like install a backup camera. Uh, what else? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Never install the head unit. Hopefully this video will find you of a good service. If you're looking for some quality entertainment, then I'm glad you clicked on Video. But if you're not entertained by this video, then I highly suggest hitting the like button to tell me that you weren't. Episode 2 of the Fit Build series starts now. Stepping inside my 2011 Honda Fit Sport, you can see this beautiful Momo steering wheel. This was installed in the first episode, so if you haven't watched that video, I highly suggest doing that. After this one, of course, duh. And if you're watching this video sometime in the future when this whole build series has been completed, I will also link down the build series playlist where you can watch all the episodes from start to finish. Here is the factory head unit. Uh, it's pretty basic for the most part. There's literally nothing. I mean, this thing still has a CD player, which is rare. And it also offers USB, iPod, iPhone. I don't know if it works on Android. I'm sure it probably does. Mm, yeah, I'm sure it does. Who knows? But it has that as well. But we're getting rid of all of that, bro. It is 2023. We can't be living in damn near 2003. So we getting rid of all that, playboy. And whom better to work with to help me achieve the look of a 2023 Honda Fit? The homies over at Toto. Yes, baby. We have the Toto S8 right here. I'm running this exact setup in my Time Attack Civic 8th Gen right there. Yeah. That's me. And we also have the backup camera that I've never actually installed one, but we're gonna do it today. And we also have the Metronics, I believe that's the name of it, which is gonna allow us to actually install our head unit. So, now this is a disclaimer. I have exactly no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know how to go about removing the OEM head unit display thing. So I am gonna watch some YouTube videos, maybe look at some Fit Freak forums, or go on the Honda Fit Facebook groups and I'm gonna do a little bit of research so when I pick up the camera again I can further explain to you how the hell you do this okay <laughs> be back in a jiffy enjoy this quick commercial break yeah man I just I just pulled up some stuff on Instagram and they say she messing with ASAP Rocket man Upon attending YouTube University, this thing is hella simple to remove, bruh. So what we gotta do right now, in between this back piece right here and this right here, we gotta use a pry tool, which I don't have, which I need to invest in. So essentially right here, you want to basically pry this forward. So you want this to come up. Once you have that taken care of, you come over here, drop your glove box, ugh, like bend the two sides you see these rubber gaskets you just with the radiate with the glove box you just bend you need two hands you bend this down then you bend this one down bend that down and boom now you get exposed to the one bolt we have to remove which is a eight millimeter or a long Phillips screwdriver which I will show you guys once we get there but luckily for your boy I went to Home Depot the other day and got a killer deal on some Milwaukee screwdrivers I don't know if it was a good deal I spent $20 on some Milwaukee screwdrivers and them thing bruh like look how long this drawn is pause but this is nice and it's Milwaukee bro Mil y'all know Milwaukee is the best it's just the best bro it's the best I use my little, it's not a trim removal tool, it's a clip removal tool, but it did the job. I pry it up a little bit, this comes out. Now the reason why you drop the glove box is so you can see the 8 mil bolt or the Phillips, whatever you want to use. I don't know if this camera is capable of showing you guys where it's at, but I'll leave a screen grab of what you have to remove, okay? 
because I know my camera isn't, uh, it's good, it's nice, but in tight spaces like this, it's, it's too big. Well, to my surprise, I went ahead and tried to remove the screw that holds the radio to the chassis. Like, it holds it to, like, the, um, the chassis dash bar support thing, uh, whatever the fuck. Um, it's not there. It's actually been removed. So whoever worked on this radio before, they never put it back. Which is my kind of people, because I would probably do the same thing. And I can tell they removed it, because they even marred up the piece right here, which you have to remove. So basically, you just lift up like you lift up like this, you see your girl's pads, you bring out your handy dandy flathead, and then you just stick this all the way in there, and pry it up like that. And it's literally just that simple. Old radio is out. The new one is ready to go in, Playboy. I I even ordered a uh, JDM hazard button, like the red one that lights up. It's pretty fire. Like it's instead of it being like black with the red icon, it's all red. I think what I think the icon is like silver, not silver, but like outlined white, like a white outline. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But uh, yeah, we pretty much got um, everything ready to go. We just gotta attach on vents, like so. And yeah, player. That's how we rock in. Vents are installed. My Advent slash Chronicles logo <laughs> sticker hazard lights are installed. Now it is time to install the new standard. A Toto S8 N dash car entertainment system, brother. I think it's awesome because it has wireless car play and it has wired car play. It has Android Auto. It, 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 it's this thing is awesome bro like for the Civic I use it to monitor all my vitals with Honda so I downloaded the app through the Google Play Store it's that's awesome bro like having your own end dash thing right there it, it's it's truly the best so you already know we had to do our thug dizzle on this bad girl but we have everything dude a Toto supplies you with everything bro dude look how slim this radio is freaking awesome and I opted for the radio with controls like physical buttons. I don't like the full touch screen stuff because if that stuff fails because of the heat and when you live in Florida, the heat do melt these screens. I don't care what you have on. You have a Pioneer. I don't give a gosh darn nugget. Always best to have buttons. Bro. Here's our S8. This thing is miniature, but it packs some heat like me. You know what I mean? I'm small, but I go the long way. You fam. I don't know how I managed to keep doing this to myself, but I accidentally forgot to order the goddamn radio harness. <laughs> it came with the harness that, that plugs into the radio, but I need the adapter harness that plugs into this piece. See, see, I am not a good YouTuber, my friend. I had this radio kit for like a month. I, 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 off the Best Buy. Remember how in the last video I said I beat the rain? Yep, it looks like the rain won today. Zosh won, rain won. Ta-da! Shout out to Best Buy, bro. Best Buy had what we needed in stock. Now we can continue on with production. And my battery's at 9%. Jeez. Uh, yeah, you want to plug this inside that harness right there. And then your radio harness, which I keep losing, already labeled with what you have to install. Like, basically just color coordination, but it's labeled in a beautiful language that we can't read. Psych! Flip that John over like that, and you got it in English. Let's go ahead and attach everything, and I'm going to be using my Kujek, uh soldering, quick solder things, magic I got off Amazon. Again, I have everything linked down in the description box below in case you want to run all the stuff that I'm running. You're welcome. Ta-da! Look at that, dude. All you have to do for this it's just basically wire them together. Use a heat gun. They recommend a heat gun, but I use that right there. And uh, yeah, clean and simple install. It is indeed raining again, which means the video gets darker. It's like BT Uncut. Ha! <laughs> Funny throwback. It's ceramic tint, so like you can see outside of it perfectly fine, but you can't see in it. And it's blocking out all the little bit of light that we have. It's, dude, Florida's been on some weird stuff lately. I started the process of unboxing the uh, rear camera and it looks like we got that rear camera action on Dizek. Got the license plate bracket holder along with our camera mount that we're gonna mount. And then these two run like that. We gotta run these wires out like on side of the pillars, run it all the way up till it reaches like right here. So we're gonna run it probably through the glove box 
That might be the easiest way to do it. But uh, it should be fairly simple. Don't you just love it? It is the next day and it is indeed raining. But on a positive spectrum of things, your boy just ran his reverse camera and last night, dude, bro, if you're going to do a radio in your Honda Fit and you use the Atoto, it's gonna require hella modifications, bruh. Good thing I am not one of those YouTubers that do like how-to videos, cause dude, the way I had to mangle like everything to fit and like, it still has a gap. That's my gap on both sides. But it's in there, it's secured. I had to shave down the actual dash kit itself in order to fit the radio inside flush, kind of flush mounted. But I couldn't even use what the radio came with like the border. But all in all, we have everything ready to go. The reverse camera should be working now. We have everything ready to go. So all I gotta do now is put back in everything and then give it a test and see What's goody in the hoodie, my boy? Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it out. We got a radio and him up on. Oh, oh, oh. To recap, we got our steering wheel installed with our cruise control bracket from Steering Solutions. We have our Toto S8 radio system installed. Now, to make this the ultimate sound system, there's only one more thing we have left to do. So what you see is the sub and amp kit that I purchased from Rockville. This is not a sponsored thing. I actually paid for it. Woot diddy woot. Man, I saw a YouTube video on this speaker because I was like, oh, it's nice, something small. Nice little tin for the back of the fit because the fit is not like a big car, bro. Like, look how small this thing is. So I just had to do what's right. And this is what's right. So we have everything we needed to make this a fairly simple and quick install. I lied. We don't have a Randy. So we're going to try our best to do this. All he told me was like, make sure you route your RCA wires one side and your power one side so you don't have any hissing. And uh, good luck. Here's everything unpackaged for you. Nice little 10 inch comp speaker. Little wham bam, thank you man. We have our Rockville audio kit, which includes, I believe this is like eight gauge wire. I'm not sure. This is a Rockville two channel amp. Again, I'll link everything that I'm using in today's video down in the description box below. But it's pretty simple how to do all this stuff. We have everything we need. So uh, without further ado, bro, let's just hop right into it. I'm not gonna make like an install video of this stuff because I don't want y'all frying y'all cars in case something goes wrong. So I'ma just like uh, figure this stuff out in a way where it makes sense for me and how I'm gonna route it and everything. So. <laughs> I'm a mechanic. It is indeed raining again, and I can't get the camera wet because it's not weather sealed. But look at that. We have the rear camera set up. And oh, I forgot to clean the trunk. <laughs> Time to clean out this trunk. All right, so now we look improper. Look at that. It looks so good. When I wired up everything and made sure like we're good to go. I played some ignorant music, and that motherfucker was slapping, bitch. <laughs> I did was booming, bro. You don't believe me? All right, check this out. Oh, who that boy? Who that boy? That be booming, bro. That be booming, boy. This is all I needed. One little tin. I ain't mess with none of the stuff, the EQ stuff on the amp itself. This is, dude, this is flat out from just, I didn't put no bass in it, I didn't put no treble in it, and I'm all, all, all goddamn, God. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, roll. Baby girl, watch how you move. Again, it could be sunny in Florida, but yet you have that. And it's raining again. As I was editing this video last night to get a head start, I realized I never went over the radio and like what all it has in the rear camera and all that stuff. So let's do that right now, brother. Oh! The rear camera setup is cool. Like you just put the car in reverse. The rear camera pops up like that. The cool thing about this radio is like if you ever just want it on the reverse camera, you just click the camera and then it'll always be there. You can drive with it on, you can just have it however you want to. And you don't even have to be in reverse. So that's really cool that it offers that. As far as the car play, you click car link two, you click the car link button and without showing my address and all that stuff, you have Apple CarPlay. And also you click here, you have your 
maps, your music player, you got Chrome, you got gallery to where you want to have your car set up. You know what I mean? If you want to have the race team right there, we just click the little photo right there and go back. But it's stretched out a little too much. I don't like that right there. I don't, I don't like that. So we're gonna go back to gallery. We're gonna click next. Set that one, that's our thing. And that looks much better. Like, look how just cool that looks. But this radio is pretty cool, man. It's really simple. Nothing much to it, honestly. Like, you just, you can set up the Wi-Fi um, for all the device connection stuff and all that other hoop jazz. It's a really cool head unit, man. It's, but like I stated, it was a pain to install on here because it's so thin. You can't really like sit it flush because of the the weight. I, it, it's a lot, bro. So be cautious with what you buy and what you buy it for. Okay. Now let me show you the goddamn sound system in them. Oh, oh. It's kind of hard to pick up the bass on camera, but. That jump booming, bro. Nice little setup. As far as my rear camera is concerned, I tapped it into the reverse light and you, they give you a long harness. And since I have a hatch, I had to wire it up through the license plate. The hole that these license plates have in conjunction with the top two, and they're like right here. So I just drilled that hole bigger, ran the wire from the camera down, fed it through all here and it comes down here and then it runs on through the pillar all the way up there. That's not bad, my little sub and amp with that little reverse camera. And we got a head unit all in the same video. That's nice, dude. That is what I like to call a successful ultimate sound system, baby. Now, so I received my hazard button in the mail today and so we're gonna go ahead and swap this one out for that JDM goodness, that YG special. All right, all we gotta do is use our Phillips and remove those two screws and that whole button assembly comes right out. So much better. It's so cool. So I'm trying to take some uh, cinematics, as you just saw, and uh, it kind of sucks. But I just realized that I can somewhat work on my interior. I think I'm going to paint this black. A nice flat black will look really good. What do you think? A nice flat black to asking off this like weird coating black. Painting this black will give it a nice little look. Uh, it's something simple and easy to do. It doesn't require much to remove two Phillip head screws and that's it. And I was thinking about doing this one as well, taking off the uh, cluster and um, painting that as well. Since, I mean, it's raining, there's not really much I can do, you know what I mean? I can't really do much. Hit this with that rust flat black, you hear me? I wonder how, you, I wonder how you remove the cluster bezel. It looks like it should just pop right out. Well, time to attend YouTube University. Look how sick that button is, bro. So nice. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding As always, bro, shout out YouTube University. That whole entire piece just clips off and then you left with this right here, the actual piece. And then these things are just Phillips screwed on. So we just remove those two little screws on each side and we'll be able to paint these black as well. So we're gonna transform the fit, baby. Yes, sir. I went ahead and removed the cluster because I'm gonna fix my TPMS light. I am disabling that with some electrical tape, or if I go back to YouTube University, I can probably study a better way. Oh look, it's wifey! All right, so I put a little bit of electrical tape over the TPMS logo. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, there you go. But I also kind of covered the other tire one a little bit, as you guys about to see. But you see it's covered a little bit. <laughs> so I might have to refix it. But it's cool though. That is cool. Did a quick revision on the tape. Uh, I really wish I had like some plastics, like some plastics, that McGuire stuff to polish this, like 
I mean, there's no scratches on it, but just to clean it up. But I probably just gotta just clean it. But anyway, look at that. TPS light is gone, and I didn't block off the other one. Oh, but I blocked off the airbag one. <laughs> but anyway, we're good to go, brother. Let's go ahead and plug that back up, and this video can finally close, because I done did way too much. Oh, you guys want to see this painted uh, in this video, because obviously it's raining. So you guys will see this in the future of videos when I do like some more interior stuff, which is coming soon. Look at that. Look at, dude, look at, look at all that play. First gear, second gear, neutral, third gear, fifth gear, reverse. Too much play, bro. Too much play. Luckily for us, we have hybrid racing who's going to take care of all of that. Well, I done lied to you all. <laughs> I got the Integra out and I went ahead and started painting those pieces. Yeah, it probably looks like crap on camera, obviously because of the material, but it's black in person. It looks black. It looks like Wakanda. So that is episode Tres Leches, I think, or episode, that's episode three? Yeah, episode three of the Honda Fit Ultimate Honda Fit Daily Driver Build Series. To recap, we installed a head unit, backup camera, subs and amp, and we're doing a little bit of modifications to the interior. We added the JDM. We added we added the we added the JDM. What's that button called? Oh my God! Hazard switch. We added the JDM. We we. Uh, I gotta clean this van. It's disgusting. I added the JDM switch for the. I keep for bruh. If I can just do an intake blooper thing, I might do that. I added a. I added the red button that when you click it, the hazard, the hazard switch. God damn, that is added. <laughs> and I'm doing a little bit of painting of some trim pieces on the interior to make it a little more sleek, more black, more defined more me but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new here i upload every day whether it's in your dreams or whether it's maybelline i'm up here just doing the lord's work man that's what i'm doing so another fit should be a good one we're gonna be focusing under the hood which means we're gonna be slapping on some go fast parts well maybe not go fast it is a fit but it's gonna sound cool, so stay tuned for that. And I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace. Peace.